Hey, what's going on? So this is to how to understand a Scorpio woman. So how do you understand a Scorpio woman? Um, a Scorpio woman, Scorpios, they deal with the afterlife. They deal with transition, right? If you know what I'm talking about, they deal with money. They deal with uh, bedroom fun. Um, they deal with power. And power is something that most people do not know of. Even if they claim to, even if they act like they do, they don't. Because power is essentially respect and consent, which is what most people don't seem to understand. So the Scorpio woman is the type of woman that thinks or used to think when she was younger that power is in the man. Power represents itself through a masculine lens, even though that's not necessarily the case. Power manifests itself both through feminine and a masculine lens, right? Equally, just in different ways. But the thing is that she doesn't know about this when she's young. She thinks that power manifests itself from a masculine perspective when it is, uh, when she's younger. So the, the reality of the situation is, is that most people don't know about power, even if it was to kick them in the butt. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Scorpio deals with self-preservation. Scorpios deal with self-preservation. That's what they're that's what they're interested in. They're here to take care of themselves. And the thing is that with the Scorpio energy, with the Scorpio energy, you have to show up as being worthy and pure of heart for the Scorpio woman to essentially really be able to trust you. And even then, there's no guarantee. And what I mean when I say pure of heart is, which is what most people are not ready to do, is most people don't explain themselves. Most people expect them to say something and then people automatically read their mind and know exactly what it is that they're talking about or what they mean every single time. But when it comes to the Scorpio woman, her dealing with that self-preservation um, modality, you have to explain to her certain things and let things be known to her so that she can trust you, so that she can look and see for herself if there's any kind of foul play. But oftentimes, some of y'all might be thinking to yourselves, well, what does that have to do with power? Well, I'm teaching it to you. The Scorpio woman thinks that self-preservation is where the source of her power comes from. And to a certain extent, she's correct. But the other extent of that is the surrendering, which is what, like I said, most people are not ready to do. Scorpio doesn't matter the zodiac sign because people's egos are too big to surrender. What is surrendering? Surrendering does not mean you're weak. Quite the contrary. Surrendering means that you're capable and ready for whatever happens. So it actually is an adaptive trait. It's actually a trait of strength. The score the power of where Scorpio comes from, or the or the the score the power of the Scorpios is that betrayal that the Scorpios think that they are trying to preserve themselves from so much. Because when someone betrays you, they ultimately owe you if they ever need to, uh, uh, they, if they ever need your help or if they ever need your assistance or they ever want your assistance, then they owe you. They are the types of people who will be on their best behavior because they already knew, they already know that they screwed up with you how many times before, once how many other times before, so they're going to be on their best behavior. You don't even get that treatment when it comes to most friends these days. Because most friends become way too comfortable with you so much to the point where sometimes they can take it for take you for granted and even do things to hurt you, which is where the envy aspect comes into play with so-called friends. But with an enemy, they will you can benefit off of it and they give you enough space to where they're not 
hanging around you all the time for them to stab you in the back. So most people don't know about power. They spend so much of their time trying to be the popular person in the class and have everybody be their friend all the time. A little bit too much. The Scorpio deals with, with sex, right? Sex is another instrument or an aspect of power because most people who are suffering from uh, a stunted growth, i.e. immature, mentally and spiritually, are not very comfortable with sex. If you want to test a person to see how evolved spiritually they are, you talk about sex. And if the person's psychology is not ready enough to have that adult conversation, then they are still immature and they are still suffering from a, a, a stunted growth. So the Scorpio energy is quite powerful if the Scorpio knows what she's doing. The Scorp See this? The Scorpio hasn't been able to even tap into her power yet. The Scorpio woman still has misconceptions that she thinks is a detriment to her that ultimately can and does and will benefit her. But she hasn't even tapped into about 90% of her power because she's still thinking from a human brain instead of a cosmic divine brain perspective. So the person who's going to be with this Scorpio woman, she, the person is going to be, who's going to be with the Scorpio woman has to understand that they have to bear their soul. They are going to have to lose the ego, no ego whatsoever. Tell the Scorpio woman the truth, because if you don't, Scorpios don't like liars. and they'll discard you. So if this is going to be a functional relationship, you're going to have to say, okay, hook or crook, sink or swim, I am going to have to tell this person the truth, even if it's difficult. And, and see, that's the thing. Most people aren't ready for that. Most people's egos are far too large. It's too inflated. The superiority complex that a lot of people have that the, the Scorpio woman is going to require if someone wants to be with the Scorpio woman is too big. The, the ego is too large. It's, it's not going to be able to happen. This, this woman right here deals with the destruction of the ego. That's the reason why the Scorpio woman has to constantly reinvent herself. What is being destroyed is the false perceptions that she is putting onto herself that she projects outwardly. Talked about money before. Money is another form of power. Money can buy anything for sale. The money is a representation of the intelligence because it shows that you can produce it. Bill Gates is a Scorpio. Hillary Clinton is a Scorpio. Elon Musk, a cancer, crap. So the water signs are supposed to use these energies, these wavelengths, these frequencies in order to benefit them. With Scorpio, Scorpio being an energy vampire, you take in those forces into you so that you can match so that you can manifest it inwardly and then manifest it outwardly because that's where the real power is coming from inwardly first and then it manifest outwardly any form of power whatsoever and there is no exception to this any form of power that manifests itself on the outside first and it goes inwardly is bs 
because the form of power that manifests itself outwardly needs your consent in order for it to have the power. But once you say no and you rebel, that person or object no longer has the power. So the power comes from the comes from within and then outwardly. You give things its meaning and you give things its respect and you give things its importance. You assign those things its importance. It doesn't assign you your importance. So this has been how to understand a Scorpio woman. Don't cheat on her. Because if you do, you could, you, you, she'll, she will take that into consideration and she has a wide range of handling her business whether it's you or some something as easy as leaving you yeah there's been other zodiac signs that have been 86th for cheating on a Scorpio spouse. Yeah, so take it into consideration what you're really doing with this person. It's not for the faint of heart. You have to really be ready to step your game up if you're going to be with this woman. Because this woman, if you hang around her, she will make you stronger. 